Smokey's a woman that lives here in my neighborhood. Nobody seemed to care that she was like sleeping in the dirt. So I just uh, jumped in the car and ran to Home Depot and started buying wood. When I gave her the house, it was very emotional for both of us. I mean, even though it was really tiny, it's just having that four walls and a door that she could lock just meant the world to her. She couldn't remember the last time she slept so good. Nobody should be homeless, especially in one of the richest countries in the world. The housing first model works. Give people a safe place to be, you know, of their own, and they're then self-motivated to better their lives. The way we build tiny houses is kind of magic. Craft it, you know, looking like a real house. Not only makes the structure very sturdy, but it feels like something, it feels like home. So I was able to go in there and be able to close the door and feel secure, as opposed to being out here in the streets with no sense of security. I've been raped three times, living in the tents. Some of these gangbangers know that veterans get automatic deposits every month, and they've been rolling these guys every month for their pensions, you know, or their benefits. And like when you leave, people go in your tents, they go through your stuff. It's just so hard out here, you know, to, to keep a level head because there's no resources, there's nothing, you're stuck here. And uh, day after day, it gets really, really tiring. So I started replacing tents that were um, the overpass bridges of freeways. It, it worked and it stored up the city where, like, I mean, not only did they not want to listen to any plan, they just wanted to shut me down. That, that's really just when, when the controversy really started. The councilman in that district gave the order to come and take a few of them. He sent the cops down to pull people out of the tiny houses we had built for them. I mean, they threw them up against the wall, told them they were all getting arrested and their houses impounded. We had to remove the houses and, and tuck them away in someone's backyard. That day that I had to go in and, and take people's houses back from them was probably one of the worst days of my life. This is what they would rather leave than actually help these people get out of here. It doesn't make much sense. We're homeless. Give us a chance. You know, we don't like to live in the streets. Nobody does. The city having 7,500 plus vacant lots, they could designate some lots to, or buildings that they could let people camp in. You know, it's like, you know, come safely be here until we figure the rest out. I will always just, you know, keep going, keep pushing out there and keep trying to reach as many people as I can to, to get involved and help me do this. And behind me here is the first mobile shower that I've been working on. People need a shower, and there's no place for people out on the street to get a shower. All of this is gonna be under $2,000. It doesn't have to be expensive. You know, you go in the bathroom, you wash yourself up, okay? Whether you find out you're able to afford it, fine and dandy. If I'm not, you see, I should not be deprived of the same. Just so simple, food, water, and shelter. You know, it's the, they're not optional for human survival and it, it's just the right thing to do. I mean, if somebody falls down, you pick them up. I mean, that's, that's what you do. That's what you're supposed to do.